In this video, I'll walk you through how to make a board and batten exterior barn door. This is great if you have an area that you don't really have the room or the space to have a hinged opening door and the sliding effect of a barn door is a better idea. For this project, we're building a 32 inch by 82 inch door that will cover a 30 inch exterior laundry room opening. We're using Southern Yellow Pine simply because this is underneath a structure so it won't get as wet. If your barn door is going to be an opening, you might want to consider using pressure treated wood. The items that we used for this, we have three 1 by 12 by 8. We also had three 1 by 4 by 8, one 1 by 4 by 10, and then one 1 by 6 by 6. The type of screws that we used for this process is we used one and a quarter coarse thread screws, basically drywall screws. The tools that we used were a miter saw, table saw, and drill were the main items that we did. So the first thing you see me doing is I've laid out all of the boards and I started to measure to see how much I needed to rip from the 1x12s to get the final 32 inches. The door opening, as I said, is a 30 inch, but you'll want a little bit of coverage on both sides for a barn door sliding. You see here, I'm looking to try and take out any bad areas and then making sure that all three boards were within an inch of one another so that the finish length is 82 inches. So then I use the miter saw to cut them down to size from the original 96 inches or eight foot length. Then I put the boards on the sawhorse with the least amount of gappage in between or at least amount of space in between. And once that's done, I cut my one by fours to 82 inch lengths. Then I cut my top middle and bottom the one by sixes to 25 inch widths then i had to clamp the back battens because there was a lot of warping and i wanted to be able to align them to the front one by fours so i clamped the outside and the front frame came to proper side by side measurements and then i laid out my screw pattern i used one and a quarter screw links to make sure that i didn't want to go through the back side of the door the total depth of my door is one and a half inches thick so since the screws are visible, it's nice to take measurements before just screwing them in randomly. I use the combination square to mark one inch from each side of the bottom one by six, and then put two sets of screws into each backboard. I measured three quarter inches in between the side to side of the one by four legs to install two sets of screws. Then I just kept doing this on the top of one by four as well as the middle. Then I used a smaller drill bit that was a 332 bit for the eight side screws. You want to pre-drill the holes to make sure that nothing splits. It's very soft pine and then start putting in the screws on the perimeter of the one by four boards so it could take off the clamps before the next step. The next step is figuring out the angles to cut on each diagonal brace of the one by four. I do more of a templating or eyeball measure than measuring. That just works better for me. And then I cut the one by four by eight in half, then place the one by four over top of my door. Mark the middle of the one by four on both sides to gauge the middle of the board, as well as placing it in the middle of the diagonal. Again, I was eyeballing this and I wasn't too worried about it being dead on since it's for an outside laundry door and it's not really fine furniture or anything like that. Then I trace the horizontal and vertical lines from the door frame under my board. And it looks like a couple of trial and errors to get the angle correct. I intentionally cut them fat on my mark so I could tweak the angles as needed on both sides to get a tighter fit. Then I did the same thing for the other diagonal brace of the 1x4. Next was measuring out my screw placement on both diagonals. I stayed with the 3 4 inch from each side of the 1x4 with two sets of screws for each back board. Be careful when you're lining up your diagonal screws that you keep at least a 3 quarter inch from each back board. Getting closer than that and you have a chance of splitting it. The final part of this process was actually done off-site. I sanded and did a thorough cleaning of the wet rag, got up any dust or debris with a final wipe down, and then did a clean dry rag or tack cloth to apply the finish. My personal favorite is I use a water locks and that's what I do for any of my interior or exterior projects. And then here you see the final installation. I didn't go into the details of actually installing the door. I was at a friend's house and I didn't have the video to show the process. But if you want, let us know in the comments below and we'll do another video on how to install the barn door hardware.
but this was the process of creating a board and batten barn door for exterior entryway. And thanks for watching.